What's going on YouTube? This is People's Choice Mobile LLC coming back at you. Um, I got a another video, a little short quick video that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I see a lot of guys out there using the, uh, the tank uh, to apply their tire dressing, whatever tire dressing that they may be using uh, to put on their rims. Like I said, um, I'm a little bit more old school and what I do, it works for me and it works well. I have no, absolutely no problems. First of all, I use a tire dressing that is water-based with silicone um, and I don't use a, a tire dressing that has solvents in it. The reason why the solvents, uh, no solvents is, or I don't like the solvents is because the solvents uh, uh, are not good for the tires. Over a period of time, they will crack the tires, causing the tires to have that cracking uh, on the side of them as the sun bakes them. Uh, that's why Armor All wasn't very successful. If you guys use it, that's why Armor All wasn't very successful when it was out on the dashboard. So, um, today I'm going to show you what I do. This is my one gallon bucket. I take a razor blade and cut a hole in it. I put my tire dressing in there, I get me a paintbrush, uh, I think that's a two inch, maybe three inch, I'm not sure, two inch, yes, yeah, two inch paintbrush. I dip that in there and I work it around the tires. Less spill, I don't have to spray anything and it sits on there and it doesn't sling off because it's water based. So, be right back with you guys to show you how I do it. So like I said earlier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush, dip it in there. Keep in mind, I got the camcorder or the phone in the other hand while I'm doing this. So uh, this paintbrush holds, see that product? It, it, it holds what you need it to hold. And I just simply go around that tire. Uh, keep going around that tire. I still got product in there. Go around there. And sometimes you can use the edge of this to kind of like filter some of that off. But you just kind of go around the edge. You can go around the edge a few times, two, three times, four times. I don't know. It was very, very quick. And you can get it done. So remember I told you. I uh, touched my rims at least three times throughout the course of a wash. First time is I hit them with the, the cleaner, whatever cleaner it is I'm using. Uh, and then I go ahead and finger the rims, and you probably seen me do that on my previous videos. I'll go ahead and finger the rims, you know, go over the individual spokes, uh, then take my finger in and just kind of go in the holes a little bit, and then I'll come back and rinse it. Then the second time you'll see me touch that rim is when that car is foamed up. And after it's foamed up, I go ahead and wash it with the mitt. That rim is already clean. I ain't got to worry about no debris or nothing clogging up my, my wash mitt. And then the second, uh, third time is when I'm done with the car and I finish drying the vehicle, um, I'll go ahead and hit the rims and I'll go ahead and dry them. And as I'm drying them, the reason for that is because I want to dry them. I don't want people to drive off with wet, wet wheels and then any dirt <clears throat> or film that I might have missed as I was uh, cleaning them previously. So that's the reason why I feel like I hit, well, I, I do the rims, I touch them at least three times. Now getting back to this tire dressing, like I said, this is a two inch painter's brush, soft, soft bristle painter's brush. It has a lot of the product on there. So we're gonna go over this, this tire. We're just gonna go over it. And I can come around and get the bottom edge. I can get in there. Close to the rim. To the bead. I guess that's what you call it. The bead of the tire. And just come around that tire. And see how fast that is. To me, that's fast. And I got enough product in that brush. Spread it around. Make it look good. Make sure you just brush the whole tire. 
Now I'm kind of going slow because I'm showing you guys out there in YouTube world how to do it. But we step back. That's what that tire looks like. You come across. Look at the other one. This is what they look like. They're already dressed, ready to go. Now, in instances <clears throat> where the client may have to leave, this one is already kind of soaking in a little bit. Uh, in instances where that client needs to leave, uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll come on over here to my trust tool cart and I'll get my and notice I keep that in the bag because I don't want stuff to get all over everything my brushes and stuff so I keep that in the bag I come over and I get my uh, my applicator it's got the little handle on it and it kind of pivots kind of goes with the tire so what I'll do when that when that client has to leave I'll just come back and uh, make sure I get this stuff in the tire there and that's only on occasions that that client is leaving they need to leave and I don't want them spinning it because it may take a few minutes for it to dry on there and, and for that water to dry in the sun but uh, if they have to leave on those particular occasions I'll use this particular applicator and then I'll go ahead and spread it in and rub it in the rest of the way now that tire is good as new look good look fresh and I have to do it with no 375 gallon uh, tank whatever it is <clears throat> and the tire dressing that I use again put this back to the cart the tire dressing I use is a water base and it's from technicians choice it's called tech c uh, tech 417 blue velvet tire dressing and that tire dressing is not solvent based but it is uh, water based like i said the reasons i like the water base is because the solvent based tire dressers tend to uh dry rot over a period of time so it's not really a good idea to continue to use that. Now, if you got an emergency situation where you don't have any other type of tire dressing, you need to get that tire done. That's one instance, so that's an exception. But on a regular basis, use water-based tire dressings, guys. So it's People's Choice Mobile, LLC, Tampa, Florida, 813-526-4426. Or hit me up with the toll-free number, 833 Two three one zero three four three. Likes, share, and subscribe. Peace.